What's up, people? Welcome back to Magic 2015. My name is Luke. I'm glad you could join me. Continuing on with our campaign here. We just beat Liliana last time in Innistrad. Kind of made short work of her. But then we apologized by taking her out to a nice steak dinner. We had some sexy time. I don't want to give away too many details. It's kind of personal. We're going to go on and fight uh, Chandra. And uh, the suggestion was to use some big creatures, some big green creatures. So we get Gravedigger as an option, checked it out, but I think, um, I'm gonna go with Beast Mode. I just made a new deck called Beast Mode. Let me show you guys a little bit. It's just all green, lots of creatures. The Genesis Hydra comes out with X11 counters. This guy can put creatures in, draw a card, put a counter out, buff creatures. Equal to the number of creatures you control. His power and toughness equal to the number of creatures you control. Destroy an artifact or enchantment. Trample. Evolve. Counters. Grab some land. Gain some life. Hexproof. The Hunt the Weak is the only really removal in the deck. Uh, maybe in large. The Kitty Cat. The Arbor Colossus. Uh, the 4 5 Monstrous Reach Asp. Nemesis and Immortals. And Penis Worm. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot of creatures. I don't know how it's gonna work. It's like all creatures, but I want to give it a shot, so Go ahead and uh, See if beast mode can take down Chandra because the suggestion was to use big creatures to offset Chandra's small burn spells and I agree with that. I think that's a great idea and I think I think this will work out quite nicely. The counter lash worked perfectly for Liliana, made short work of her, so I appreciate the suggestions, guys. We'll see if it works out this time, too. I have a good feeling about this. We might finish out another plane, get some more cards, take another sexy planeswalker to dinner after we calm her down, and then fire her up again when we, you know, have the sexy time later. Um, yeah, that's not gonna work. She plays first, and we have one land. And now we have no land. Well, this is fantastic. Come on, can we get a good draw here? Come on. There we go. Three forests, some plays. It might happen, it might work. I wish we had some turn two and turn three creatures, but we got land, so let's just give it a shot. We got the Hexproof 3-3. Three, three. Uh, it's gonna take a little while for that to come out there, but that could be promising. Ah, uh, fantastic. So she's already got removal out in turn one. That was quick. Timberland Guide. So Timberland, it's a timber, Timberland. Timberland. We could put him out there, I guess. I mean, he put the counter on himself and then maybe the seal would destroy him, but it might be a good idea just to get rid of that seal. We'll give it a shot. He's not really doing anything else waiting on him in my hand. That's not going to do us any good. Maybe we can get some damage through. Maybe she doesn't want to sacrifice that seal of fire to take out our weak creature. Oh no! Fiery cat! Ragathon fighter cat! Siege worm. Oh! Oh, we've... We've just been drawing cards and not any land. I'm getting a little worried here. Well, Sign on the Wild is not going to do us too much good since it's only going to be equal to the number of creatures we control. It's going to be a 2-2 at most at this point. Well, let's attack with that and see. Really not going to block that. It wants to swing back for... It's just going to kill it outright. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Um... I, I, uh, I really don't want to use this guy to block that cat, but I don't want to take four damage either. That's a lot of damage just to have that four four one creature out there just beating on us every turn. So, hey, the sign made her made her think twice about that. Oh, a foil lava born muse. What? I hate this card. I don't want it to deal three damage to us if we have two or fewer cards, because then we can just can't play the cards in our hand. Okay, so we got to keep three cards in our hand. Remember that. Well, that's fine. If we don't draw any land, we we really don't have a choice but to keep three cards in our hand. <laughs> Need another land. Come on. 
Come to Papa. Papa needs a bigger creature. Needs some land. Lava born muse, swinging away. Doing three damage. You just like to do three damage, no matter what. Tickling me with them fireworks. That tickles, I don't appreciate it. That's dangerous to fire fireworks at people like that. You could hit somebody in the eye. You could start them on fire. There it is. Jackpot. Now we can get a hunt beast. That's a start. We need one more and we get this Arbor Colossus out there and then things are just looking peachy. We also got potential to get this big boy out here. That big worm. Scion is glowing. Glowing? Growing? He might be glowing too, I guess. No! He's gonna kill the Scion. Alright. That might happen. That happened. You know, it might might happen. No, it happens. All right. Well, ah, looks like we're gonna have to block the the lava born muse because that's just gonna be a pain in the butt. We'll take five damage. Ow! Pretty sure that that flopter flopter just blew my brains out. With a big gun. I did not know it had such big guns. Nemesis of mortals. We could put the nemesis out there. We could put this guy out because it just... Really, it does offset that attacking. She's got land. She's got cards. She's just going to burn the nemesis, I think. That would suck. Such a tough decision. don't want to put the nemesis out there and then just have it get killed by like a volcanic geyser or something or just a, a weak trade with this and then it gets speared or something well it's not I guess not that weak of a trade but we're down to 12 health we don't really have too many threats she burns the Jade Mage, attacks back for five, we're sitting even, even worse. So, I think it's got to be the Nemesis. Let's just put the Nemesis out there. Perhaps it can become monstrous. Hey, hey, that bought us a turn. That was, that's good. All right, all right, I like that. I would like some land, though. Can we get some land up in here? Like, it's great to put another creature out there, but how about some land? We'd really love to be able to make this thing monstrous. Come on. Oh, another turn goes by. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, we, we definitely want the, the Hexproof Hunt Beast. I'm getting some creatures out there, guys. It's happening. It's not doing a lot, though. That's, that's the problem. Another land and this, like, Arbor Colossus coming out would be... Be awesome right now. She's just drawing land left and right. So, okay, so we could tap out Convoke and hit the Siege Worm. Or we can put the Advocate of the Beast out there. Do we have any... Well, we have the Hexproof Beast. So that would start growing. I think that's the play. Probably want the, the Hexproof Beast to start growing. The bigger that is, the better. Yeah, I mean, having a 5-5 Trample Worm would be nice too. It's hard to say. But I really don't want to tap down... All the creatures. Well, we'd have to tap two of them, right? That's it? That's not so bad. We could tap two. Can I pick which ones I want to convoke? Let's go ahead and convoke that one and that one. Do I need to... I need to convoke all three? I thought it was... Six. Oh, it is seven. It's seven costs. I don't want to do that. I was thinking it was six for a second. All right. Um, right. We'll do the Advocate of the Beast then. I want to tap out everything and only leave the Siege Worm back. That's 
Kind of a mess. We'll start letting our primal hunt beast grow. It's got 10 land. Like, could almost volcanic geyser us to death. That's uh, so sad. Okay, so now we got the enlarge, which would be pretty sweet. Give something plus seven, plus seven. Trample. Has to be attacked. Probably block, get one of these off the board. Do some major damage. Or we could just put the Arbor Colossus in. Or, yeah, I, I you know, because having to reach out there would be good too. Hard to say. So many options now. I'm loving the way this is turning out. I love it when there's tons of creatures and tons of things you can do. All these abilities to just make things go kablooey. Right in your face! Alright. That being said. I think we wanna wanna put out our Arbor Colossus. Have a 6-6 six, six with reach. Go ahead and pass one more turn. Get another counter on this guy. And then I think next time. We're gonna enlarge something, do some attack, and do some Oh my god, it's up to eleven. I, I'm a little worried. I think she might have a volcanic geyser that she's just holding on to, waiting to get to like 13 land and then just kill us outright. Oh, another Arbor Colossus. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. What do we want to give plus seven, plus seven, and trample? That's a good question. Um, she can only block two things. So I think if we swung with the 5-5, five, five, the 5-5, five, five, and this 6-6, six, six, and then gave something else in large, this is going to turn the tide of this pretty significantly unless unless she's got that volcanic geyser because then she could geyser us not block anything well she'd have to block something so because of the enlarge it must be blocked um plus it would be lethal so i think we'll just go ahead just attack with a couple things here. Should we enlarge the Jade Mage? Make the Jade Mage gigantic? I'd like to keep the Arbor Colossus back. I'm the advocate of the beast. Oh, come on! Is she gonna geyser that? Just waste our enlarge? You jerk! Well, we knew she. Now we know she had the, uh, the, the volcanic geyser. Um. I think she has more volcanic geysers? Potentially. One card in hand. Well, that was just interesting. That was a bunch of bunch of bull crap. Let's go ahead and attack with the with the nemesis then. Yeah, double block it. All right. That's fine. We'll lose the nemesis. I'm okay with that. Two creatures off the board. Now we know. He's got one card in hand. Our power is growing immensely. So two six sixes on the board now. And one of them with hexproof, one of them with reach. Now if you just if you geyser me like Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you volcanic geyser me for twelve, I will. Probably flip this desk, which would be amazing because it's sitting in the corner of my room And it's like probably 400 pounds. I don't think there'd be any way I could flip this desk, but I would I would try <laughs> All right, so out of cards 12 12 land on the board nothing that she can really do we can grow this guy become a 9-9 nine -nine. Um, Swing for like 17 or we could just uh put something else else out let's let's just go ahead and attack with these we'll, we'll attack for 14 i don't think she's gonna be able to do anything about this and then we'll put out something probably we could put out the arbor colossus but we could uh yeah Put out the Arbor Colossus. We've got another one. More Colossus. Yeah, 
if we get to the beast. Hunt beast could become a 7-7. Seven, seven. Look at that. Powerful creatures. Weak burn spells. Oh, no. Well, it's going to come out and it's only going to be able to... Could proc once. Trigger that. You can do two damage to us and then she can trigger this for five more damage once. I'm sorry, that's not going to be enough. You dead. I'm going to calm you. I'm taming you. We're going for dinner. We're going for steak dinner. It's going to happen. You're not even going to trigger that to do five damage? Come on. Oh, negative two. Oh, I punched her right in her loins. That was dirty. That was dirty. Victory! Once again! That was awesome. The big the big beast worked against the small burn spells. You guys rock. We're rocking through these planeswalkers. Oh, auger spree, wow. That's awesome. Target creature gets plus four, minus four. It's pretty sweet. Uh, Slesnia. Evangel. Tap an untap creature you control and put a 1-1 one, one Sapporling on the battlefield. That's pretty sweet. Let's make creatures. Another battering crisis. Another penis worm. Gutter snipe. Illusionist bracers. Whenever an activated ability of equipped creature is activated, it is, uh, if it's not a mana ability, copy that ability. You may choose new targets for the copy. That's pretty awesome. You could slap those Illusionist Bracers on Gutter Snipe. Pretty cool. We've got a Wrecking Ogre, which is sweet. Look at him just wreck stuff. These guys, they're just trying to, like, paint the side of this building, and he's like, No! I HATE THAT COLOR! Just smashing everything, man. Discard him. Target a crack. Attacking creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains double strike until the end of the turn. Blood Rush is awesome. He can work as a combat trick, or he could just be a 3-3 creature. Pretty sweet. We got the Mahamoti Dijin. Dijin. Jin. Mahamoti Jin. Jin, 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 Jin. Dude, he's ripped. Man. He's hitting that HDH. I need more protein! This is just a 5-6 flyer. Just a big old flyer. It's not bad, not bad. Alright, so we got some cool cards. We'll beat Chandra. Two more planeswalkers down. Two more planes fully explored. We're, we've explored three planes now. We have yet to finish exploring. Chandra, we've, un we've unlocked her. We've unlocked her loins. We've unlocked the loins of Chandra. Let's see, what do we got left? We've done Innistrad, Theros, Ravnica. We got Chandelar and Zendikar left. So maybe we'll go on to Chandelar and continue on there and see what we find. And then continue on with Zendikar. Oh my. Oh my. We must track down the demon of Nixilis and harvest his brow. His eyebrow. I don't know why we need his eyebrow, but I'm not going to question it. It's magical, apparently. Uh, moving on. With more magic next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a blast. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your suggestions on what decks to play against the Planeswalkers. It worked out very well. Two more Planeswalkers down. On that note, I'm going to take off. I'm going to take a break from magic for now. And I will see you guys next time for more magic. Until then, take care.